Yep, 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 yep. Manny Norte. The name you can trust. We're here. Jump off. It's week two. Yeah, it was a zoo. It was ram. First one, obviously, is oh, everyone wants to see what's going on for the first one. It's good to have jump off back. But the second one's the hardest. But it was like the same numbers. People came down, obviously, work got around. And it's a good atmosphere. Obviously, Rap 6 represented. Charlie Stoff represented. Manny Norte represented. He's a good guy, man. You need to get to know him. The dance battle was SDK up against the champions. Prototype. Prototype were big. SDK were nice as well. They had some good routines. There was one little kid that was flipping through the sky. A lot of breaking, and he got the crowd going nuts. He was the strongest. The two young lads in the crew, SDK, represented. That was actually the strong point of the crew. They were dancing, the rest of the crew were dancing, but there was not as much technicality as I'd like to see. Whereas Prototype and their dancing and their moves was a bit more tighter. Do you know what I mean? So, for me, I think they deserve to win this week as well. The producer battle, I think um, that's like the people's favorite. And it's like people can learn from how they actually make the beats from scratch. Do you know what I mean? Because there's obviously people that want to get into beats and production and singing and you know, music lovers so they can see a, a producer starting from scratch. Now, Etta James, um, she recently passed away and there were some special Etta James samples which they had to use. It wasn't as easy because the tempo which was set, it was like 90 BPM, for those that don't understand, that's beats per minute, which is like doom, 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 doom. And the samples are kind of fast. So, I don't know, you, it was hard to slip them in. Giorgio, when he done his beat, it didn't sound as good until the end and you could see or you could hear how it sounded at the end, which is quite good. He put together the beat quite well. I don't know if it was when he was playing the keys, it might have sounded out of key or something didn't gel right. So yeah, that was it, but he represented, he represented anyway, so big up to Georgia. All right, so Jay Weathers, to me, was the better beat, to be honest. There's a lot of controversial tweets online saying that Georgia should have won it. I don't know, you know, because Jay Weathers, again, the simpler things work. So the drums are working, and you can see that the samples, it would have been difficult to try and play them out and play around it, and in five minutes, it's not as easy. So if you're doing the drums, and you're knocking out a nice bouncing beat, and then you just trigger the sample so it's not too long, when you can cut to it and you can see, I prefer that beat, to be honest, but Georgia's beat did sound nice. And again, um, we, get, we went to the judges, and me and Sloth, and the crowd, so it was a unanimous decision. On the MC Battles pamphlet, I don't know, his hairstyles, coming on stage, twirling like a rat girl. He's doing it on purpose. Everyone's looking at him thinking he's a rat freak. Well, he is a freak, but he can actually spit. And if he practice his trade, it could do something, because he is funny, and he actually had bars and he has lines. And the crowd actually were laughing at him, and people were feeling him. Keon from Leeds, he started off well, but he actually choked a bit, you know what I mean? So near to the end, and when he got to the final, he didn't have as much lines as what he needed to win. He could actually spit, he could actually battle, so if that's Keon's first time for battling, big up to Keon, man, keep it up, because he's got some big potential. Will's actually going to scrap the booty shape, because last time, it just got crazy and x-rayed out of nowhere. But, um, so we thought, alright, let's just keep it moving and just get to the after party. So we're gonna say, yeah, that's the end of Jump Off. We're gonna get to the after party now. Go to the bar, buy your drinks. And the people started booing. I'm like, what are you booing for? So we asked them, they actually wanted to see more booty shaking stuff. So. And it was more the girls that saying, booty shaking. The girls are the ones, you know. Not even the guys, the girls. So then no one wants to step on stage and, and out of nowhere, three dancehall queens came on and represented. Back off everywhere. A lot of jerking, a lot of doing this, and bum flicking and, Attitude, yeah, so it was a go. So the winner won like a hundred pounds. You know what I mean? Doesn't hurt. You know what? People are actually throwing money from the balcony. I thought, right, I might as well come and own myself. You know, it's the money, you know what I mean? A round up. It's what we need, it's what the country needs. It's the perfect place to see what's going on. Who's got talent, who are freaks, who's not. You don't see it anywhere else. You got a DJ that knows what the hell he's doing. You got hosts that know what the hell they're doing. But people that come down, they're music lovers, they're stylers. There's pretty girls, there's cool dudes. They want to see dancing, they want to see annihilation, they want to see everything. And there's nowhere else in this country but the jump off that do it. That's all I've got to say. Manny Norte, the name you can trust. My word is so good. Gone.